but now let's go ahead and hit on the camera a little bit more in detail. So it had that triple camera setup on the back, a 12 megapixel wide angle lens, a 12 megapixel telephoto lens, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Now again, this was one of those devices that it used as a main device for, uh, for like a year or since I owned it, actually a little bit over a year. And this camera is one of those devices that is just so predictable and it's so just you know what you're getting with this camera. With a lot of other phones, you just don't know how it's going to perform indoors or outdoors or you can kind of get an idea. Sometimes the photos will look really, really good in the same conditions and sometimes not. I did not get that vibe from this camera or really any iPhone camera. That's one of its biggest strong points. And with this camera especially, when I would go ahead and just go anywhere and say photos or videos, there were a ton of videos and photos that I took on my channel you know, throughout all these videos, even my second channel, of just video straight from this phone and I really liked it. It's super predictable. I loved having that telephoto lens which is so funny because I ended up using that way more than I used the ultra wide sensor even though I like having an ultra wide sensor more. So those lenses that you have are future proofing yourself like crazy. I think that was a really good improvement from the iPhone XS at that time by having that triple camera setup and if you get this phone today, if you get this phone next year, I really don't see cameras improving really like an insane amount anytime soon. If you look in the past from iPhone to iPhone, even if you pick up something like an iPhone XS camera, that's still pretty okay for now, but very soon that's going to be outdated. As long as you have these three camera setups, I think you're going to be okay for the most part. So in terms of the back camera, 4K at 60, 1080p at 240, well, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you have that capability. So this camera for sure, thumbs up for me on the back and even on the front of this front camera is still extremely good. You have the ability of doing 4K at 60 on the front as well. And as I stated before, that is a huge humongous asset. When you pick up a device like this, you're not going to feel like it's outdated in any way in terms of the camera. We're still only stuck at 4K at 60 for at least the foreseeable future. I don't see us going to 8K on the front anytime soon and the quality of this front lens is still extremely good. So in terms of the camera standpoint, you are getting a very solid camera for sure on both the front and the back. So in terms of the camera standpoint, I will say thumbs up for me for sure. This is a very solid camera in 2021. Now moving